So you're starting your online monetization journey. Maybe you're starting a business or you're just monetizing a skill that you've learned in the corporate world. You want to start making money online and you're like, should I incorporate some type of video or audio element like a podcast into the mix to help me make more money? As somebody who's had a podcast and a YouTube channel very successfully and as like the central lead generator in my business for over five years now, I'm going to be sharing with you today my top strategies and all of the like reasons why the answer is yes, I believe that you should if you have the desire to start a podcast. Now, the biggest barrier to entry for new business owners or people that are new to the online space when it comes to starting a successful podcast is how to do the logistical pieces. When I started my podcast, I had no idea how to do the editing, how to do the recording in a way that sounded and looked professional. And I struggled so much with this in the beginning that I wasted so much time that I could have just been being creative and again, just sharing my value. So I am so excited to be partnering with Riverside on today's video. They've kindly sponsored this video so I can share with you about what I have found to be the most comprehensive and in-depth platform for new and experienced podcast hosts. So I'll get more into my specific like behind the scenes recommendations as far as how to start this process. But first, I want to dive into why you want to consider starting a podcast if you want to make money online. First and foremost, I believe that a podcast is your most current way to share long form information rather than starting an outdated blog. There was definitely a time and place for blogs in the online monetization space. But realistically, growing a blog in today's day and age is not your fastest or most efficient way to see monetary success. Whereas starting a podcast and having people hear your voice, even if you're doing some video recording, having them see your face and giving you a space to like speak at length about the value you have to share, that is the current way to blog or to give long form of value. Being able to use a podcast as a platform to build trust with your audience is such an under discussed benefit of creating a podcast. As we know in sales, people need to know you, like you, and trust you before they're ever going to consider spending money on anything that you're promoting, no matter if it's the best product or service on earth. And having a podcast gives you this really unique opportunity to give some like personal sharing space while keeping things very valuable. If you guys have listened at all to the first million podcast, I post an episode of that every single week, basically on my YouTube channel, on Spotify, on Apple podcasts. That is my place where I'm sharing with y'all like my story of coming into my business, things about my own journey to financial freedom and entrepreneurial success. Y'all wouldn't really have any insight into that journey unless I had that platform. So creating trust with your audience is a huge reason why I would be looking into podcasting if you haven't already. Now, this next reason why I think you should start a podcast is actually something that I haven't really seen talked about, but I believe that the opportunity to elevate your business and your brand through audio and visual elevation is a huge opportunity to elevate yourself professionally. What I mean by that is if most of your content is just you propping up your phone and talking to the camera or sharing iPhone shot photos or whatever it might be, and suddenly you're sharing like studio quality recording and you have really good high quality video options, that's gonna set you apart on all of the platforms that you share that on. On the topic of increased quality, Riverside makes this really easy because when I was first starting my podcast, when I've had clients that have attempted to get into the podcasting space, when you're recording everything from different devices and you have guests and they're recording things differently, there's so much room for loss of quality, both in the audio formats and visually. Using Riverside is really, really helpful because Riverside records you and your guests locally, so it bypasses poor or unstable internet connections or anything else that you might run into to reduce quality. And it gives you really good studio quality audio and video. And of course, that is going to set you apart from the competition when you have studio quality stuff going live online and everybody else is recording themselves using the front camera on TikTok with poor lighting and quality. So this is something to really, really consider. And I think it's been a huge asset to my business personally. Okay. So this is what I think y'all are probably really here for, which is to hear from me. Well, how do I actually start a podcast? And I'm not going to say here and say the basic stuff that y'all already know get a microphone, you know, get your idea. Like you guys already know that you need to know what your topic is going to be. You need to have your basic equipment. What it comes down to is the logistics. How am I going to record all of this and edit it? And where do I put it? So we're going to talk about the logistics a little bit. This is going to be a really good note taking opportunity because I'm going to be going through the tools and features that Riverside specifically provides as again, what I think is like the most comprehensive, easiest to use, but professional podcast production platform. And we're going to go through a few of those things that I 
hope will make the process a lot easier for you than it was for me before I knew about this platform at all. So once you find yourself set up with all of your equipment, right? You have your mic, you've got your computer, you've got your camera, whatever you're looking to use to actually create like the physical elements of the podcast. And it comes to the production piece of the puzzle. One reason why I think podcasting can be so intimidating is because it can be very time consuming and users of the Riverside platform have found that they have saved 65% of the time they would have otherwise spent in post-production through using all the features of the platform. So in contrast to the way that I got started when it came to my personal podcast, I would say that using the Riverside platform is going to save you so much time. It's not only going to save you time, but it's also going to save you money. I ran through so much of my business startup funds working with editors, trying to figure out how I could increase the quality of what I was creating, how I could work with the audio and the video footage. And it got so complicated. And the really cool thing about the Riverside platform is it allows you to capture in really high quality the visual and audio elements of your podcasts, but it also separates the audio and video tracks for you and any guests that you might have on your podcast. You can have a lot of room to play around with all of your audio and video elements in post-production. And again, you have customization power, but you don't have to use expensive editors. You don't have to spend hours and hours separating things and recombining them. The platform makes it really, really easy for you. And that's another really important thing when I'm talking to my clients about starting a podcast and I've been recommending them the Riverside platform specifically is I'm like, it can get extremely expensive to need to get into the weeds of like post-production with editors and any other resources you might use when it comes to podcasting. And for a lot of new podcasters and business owners, people who are just trying to start making money online, there isn't this huge like bank account of funds waiting to develop a podcast, right? It's something we use as an asset. So with that in mind, Riverside users have actually found that they can save up to $5,000 per recording by being able to work with editing all in one space and also allowing them to save on any travel expenses because they wanna interview people that are all over the globe. I have one of my most successful podcast episodes with a past client of mine who now lives in Bali. And it would be so complicated if I was not able to look forward and think, okay, I'm able to now interview guests like Sarah, who I had that really successful podcast with. And we talked all about business, international travel. And I now know that there's a way to capture that interview type in the highest definition with the highest audio quality. So it has the highest impact for my audience, but I don't have to hop on a plane and I don't have to spend so much time and money to make that a reality. Another big question I get asked when it comes to the how of recording a podcast, like how do you make it so crispy? How does the audio sound so good? I think a big part of the reason people want to continue to listen to podcasts versus intaking knowledge on other platforms or in other ways is because the audio quality is so satisfying, but it can also be really terrible. There's nothing more annoying than listening to a podcast episode where there is interference or there's just overall like really low audio quality. It totally detracts from the value that the podcaster is trying to share. And I was so excited to find out that Riverside makes it so much easier to maintain quality. Riverside is saving your audio directly to your device to maintain recording quality regardless of your internet connection, which as someone who travels so much for work, you guys know that being a digital nomad is like a big humongous part of my business and of my brand. That is so freaking important. And I'm already planning on using Riverside for all of my overseas recording because I have experienced directly this loss of quality and therefore a loss of just value and you know what my audience is able to take away from my episodes. If you're like me and you also have an interest in taking your business on the road or you don't wanna have to have this podcast studio setup where you have to have the perfect conditions to create the type of quality of content that you want to have. One of the coolest things that Riverside does is it allows you to invite guests and to record sessions yourself right from your phone. Y'all know that I'm a big phone girl. Like realistically, I could almost run my entire business just from my cell phone. And I think that this is something that's really under discussed when you're traveling or when you even just have kids and you're in your home office and you need to keep things compact being able to do things on your phone that are still high quality and highly respectable when you put them out there and they're received by your audience, like that is major. So being able to use Riverside to use your phone either as your primary webcam or your secondary camera is massive. I think one of the biggest things that causes insecurity and therefore a lack of consistency in new podcasters is a little bit of a lack of knowledge around how to know what to say. When you think about podcasting, those episodes tend to be a little bit longer, sometimes even upwards of an hour for certain podcasts. I've definitely recorded episodes that have exceeded uh, 60 minutes of time. And so 
it's a lot of time to fill with your own words and that can cause nerves. And again, that doesn't come across well when you're wanting to speak to an audience professionally. So inside your virtual studio that you can create through Riverside, they have really cool options for teleprompters where you're able to save questions, discussion points, or even like full scripts for your videos in the studio. Aside from the option to use your phone as a primary webcam, I think that the ability to store your notes in the studio and to have a really professional feel when it comes to what do I need to say and when is going to bring a whole other level of elevation and professionalism to your content. And that, as always, keeps viewers and listeners coming back. And as you promote your offers and your message, it's going to grow your monetization potential by so much. My biggest advice to you if you're listening to this video and you're like, I know this is something that I want to do. How do I just take the leap? Take all these points into account, obviously, but invest in a platform like Riverside because it simplifies the process and making this overcomplicated is the thing that's going to make you stop before you get started. It's the thing that's going to not allow you to be consistent. If you start posting and then you stop posting for a really long time and you just don't create that sense of reliability with your audience, you are not going to have the success that you're hoping your podcast will bring to your business. It's going to give unprofessionalism versus what you're looking for, which is elevation of value and professionalism. So I really recommend going for the comprehensive, simplest route where you can use one platform for recording, for editing, for increasing and improving your quality. And honestly, I was so excited when Riverside reached out to me because I have never had a podcast platform that I felt like aligned so much with not only my digital nomad lifestyle, but with the questions that I get asked all the time in my emails, in my DMs, in my YouTube comments under my podcast about like, how can I do something like this too? It feels too hard, too expensive, and too time consuming. And this platform, like, really answers to all of those issues. Riverside has very kindly provided me with a coupon code that y'all can use to sign up to use the platform for 15% off. I'm going to pop that coupon code up right here. It'll also be down in the description box. And you guys, I am so grateful to Riverside for allowing me to offer you guys the opportunity to get started with a discount. Um, and also to just share with you this knowledge where I have found that podcasting has been not only the biggest asset to my business and my brand, but it's been such a fun way for me to get to know my brand better, to grow my confidence and to just share with y'all more about me and my journey. So I really, really hope that each and every one of you who's listening to this, if you feel called to start a podcast, that you now have the confidence to get out there and make it happen. I think it is obviously such a great opportunity to grow your online monetization potential. And I've not found a better way to combine value, saving time, saving money, and just all of the needed elements to create a successful podcast than I found through the Riverside platform. So again, you guys use this discount code to get 15% off of your subscription, to use the platform and send me DMs with links to your podcast when you start them, because I want to listen to literally all of them on my hot girl walks. I cannot wait to see them. Thank y'all so, so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.